Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, let's discuss about controlled and uncontrolled components in React. What is a control component in React? For example, let's say we have two inputs and we are handling the data inside our component in the same component. But in uncontrolled components, we handle the data from the DOM. We get the data from the DOM using a reference value. So let me show you now how to do it first for uncontrolled components. For example, let's say we have two inputs, name and age like this, oh, uh, local host. Okay. We have name and age like this. Let's say we want to add reference to the both. We will create a name variable called name equal to, then we will use, we'll create the reference for the name. We will use react dot create ref like this. Then we can say for age, we can say let age equals to react dot create ref, create ref. So this will create the reference for name and age. Fine. Now we'll assign this references to the inputs using ref keyword ref equals to here will be the name. And in second one, here will be the age for the age. Yes. Now, let me now show you to console log. Now, to, now let's console dot log them. Console dot log name dot current dot value. And here console dot log name dot current dot age. Let's try to see what we get. We should get an error because we don't have any data inside them. If we check in the inspect element, we will see something like this cannot treat properties of null reading value. So if we remove them, wait. Okay, I think let's just add name and age first. Age. They should work now. Yes. Now refresh the page. We will get empty current values here. So we can say name dot current that will be null. So it doesn't matter. Let me type my name here in the Nishant. See, we are not getting anything. If we type some age, still nothing. We are not getting the console log because our state is not getting refreshed. Sorry, our component is not getting refreshed. And then we cannot see the name and age. To do that, we can simply create a function. If you want to see the name and age, uh, let's say submit. And, and add a function, put them inside here, this name and ages. Then on this button, we can simply on click event this, on click the submit button function, I mean. Now, if we close, if we just click submit button, only then we can see name and age. Because only then our DOM is getting refreshed. Click submit and see, we're getting these two. So we have to do name dot current dot value and age dot current dot value. Okay. Value. Now let's check. Click submit. Now we are reading the values of Nishant and 25. So my like the main point here is in the uncontrolled components, we don't have or uh, we don't have the privilege to get our states updated or component updated automatically. If we are creating a reference like this. But now let me show you control components that we generally use. Okay. So we will create a use state hook first or wait a second. Mm, okay. Yes. Let me create a use state hook. Or do we need it? No, we don't need it. Let me create a function. So const get input or let's say get name, get name equal to an arrow function. Fine. Now we will not use this. Okay. Let me just copy and paste it once more. So this will be un. let me just write un uncontrolled component is yes, that component component spelling is wrong. Component. Let me comment this. 
then inside the second one let's write controlled components let me comment this also because here we having we are having uncontrolled components that we should be for and here control components remove this ref and this age we can also comment this temporarily for now here fine now we have only one name manage here inputs fine so for the get name or uh, okay we can use on change event here for control components we use on change event so if we type something this get name function will run and it will pass the value so we can say event here we can simply console.log the event event dot target dot value target dot value like this okay fine now let's check refresh the page type something in the name like say nishant so see here we are getting the name if we type n n will come here then and i as such so it's getting appended every time we type inside it and the same thing is for the age so we can say get age here should we add on change on change event get age now in the age we will see the age if we type the age let's say we type 2 6 so now we are getting the age now in this case our component is getting refreshed or what is it called here should be the word our component is getting um, updated where is it where is it where is it okay this is not here okay 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 it's not here so you have to believe me in this case our component is getting refreshed but in the previous case of create ref our component will not be refreshed because we are just getting the value from the dom so that's what that's what is controlled and uncontrolled components in react